Today, the governments of the East African community presented their 2013-2014 budget estimates and outlined priority areas for the coming year. In the outlook, the common features across all economies from Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda and Tanzania is the priority given to infrastructure development. Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda and Tanzania plan to invest heavily in building roads, investment in energy, power transmission, including rural electrification and rail transport. This is expected to spur economic growth and provide employment, especially for the youth. Although no specific amounts of money have been tagged to the agriculture sector, Kenya and Uganda have set aside money for irrigation and agribusiness loans through commercial banks. During the 2013-2014 financial year, Tanzania hopes to improve its fisheries and livestock development, while Rwanda hopes to boost the sector as a whole. In the education sector, the Kenyan government will spend 17.4 billion Kenya shillings on the laptop program, 10 billion shillings on primary education, and 8.6 billion Kenya shillings for youth polytechnics. Uganda has allocated 1.8 billion shillings to the education sector. This will go towards providing adequate infrastructure for schools, teacher training and housing, promote science and technical education, among others. In Tanzania, 4.9 billion shillings was allocated to the Higher Education Loans Board for Higher Education. The East African countries are also dedicating a considerable amount of money to youth development schemes like student loans, youth funds, among others. This is expected to improve skills for the youth to spur productivity and employment. Although the Jubilee government in Kenya plans to reduce tax on Senator Keg Beer by 50% to boost agricultural activities in Bali and Sogam growing areas, Uganda is planning to eliminate VAT exemption on wheat and flour to improve tax administration and generate revenue. Uganda and Kenya both plan to increase taxes on gaming and gambling. Unlike other ESC countries, Kenya plans to amend the Capital Markets Act to allow investors licensed in other East African countries the same rights as Kenyan players to boost capitalizing activities. Other key priority areas in the East Africa Partner States budgets include investments in healthcare, oil and gas, agriculture, tourism and industrialization. All budgets were however presented against the backdrop of continued challenges in the global economy, especially the economic crisis affecting major donors in Europe. Michael Baleke, NTV.